Hello and welcome. My name is Whitney. Thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I have always been drawn to the paranormal and first off, the paranormal has been drawn to me at a very young age and that's how I got very curious about it. I've always wanted to learn more. I've always known that there was other dimensions and a spirit world and there is so much more beyond this physical world that we can actually see. And I bought a supposed haunted doll named Jane. And I've gotten a lot of questions and views on that video. And I thought that I would talk about owning a haunted object. So if you would like to learn more, please stay tuned. So before we get into an update on Jane, I just wanted to tell you guys, in case you didn't know, a spirit, any object that you can possibly think of, it can haunt an object, whether it be jewelry, a vase, a teddy bear, a painting, a doll, anything. Um, a lot of times they will haunt an object that they had previously owned when they were alive to make them feel more at home. And I have heard that they will often have a doll as a vessel because it may have looked like them when they were alive. Well, that's in Jane's case. And a doll kind of makes them feel more human. And instead of being a free spirit throughout everything even though she could kind of just moves throughout my house but um yeah so we see in Hollywood movies about scary haunted dolls you probably have seen many videos on here about people owning haunted dolls you may have heard of Robert the doll Annabelle true stories about haunted dolls so I had a lot of questions in my last video in the comment section about rules that I follow with owning one, where I got Jane, and like what I do to be protected from any bad entities. What if you buy a doll and it turns out to be an evil spirit? So first off, you got to ask yourself, why do you want to own a haunted doll? And what do you hope to get from owning a haunted doll? A lot of people, they just want to own one because they're curious to see if it's actually haunted. And that's why I got Jane. I got her from eBay. You can get haunted dolls anywhere online like eBay, Etsy, and I'm sure there's tons of other sites, antique stores, um, things like that. They can go for a lot of money. And if you are to look on these sites, there are hundreds if not thousands of dolls on each site claiming to be haunted they have this crazy story about how they found out this doll was haunted um their living life and everything like that and so anyone can claim that something is haunted it doesn't make it haunted and for what i did i got jane off ebay and i looked at the listing and the seller and I looked at all the reviews and things like that and I knew that just because I bought her it could just be a normal doll this can lie this may not be if it actually is haunted it may not be a good spirit it could be a bad spirit you're inviting this energy into your home good or bad and something can seem very good and nice and months later your home is very chaotic and you don't know how to get it out because just because you get rid of the doll it doesn't mean that the spirit's gonna leave so i'm not a pro whatsoever i do not claim to be a pro but i'm a very spiritual person i believe in god angels and i ask god to come into my home this is before i even got a haunted doll just in general to invite light and love into my home God, angels to protect me, my ancestors, and I cleanse my space frequently. And you can do that with anything. Honestly, it doesn't matter if it's incense, herbs, a spray, anything. You can even just pray into your space. I always open a window though, and I 
do this uh, every so often like I can feel the energy in my home and know when it's time to cleanse my space and you have to kind of see what works best for you and because we all have different beliefs and walks of life and there isn't one certain way but one thing that is for certain your intention means everything you have to spit out the right intention for your space that only good may enter and any bad must leave and so i cleanse my space pretty frequently and then once i got jane i made sure to set ground rules and i cleansed her in the box that she came in and i said that anything bad or evil intent may not enter my space and bringing in a haunted object you have to be respectful to that spirit that you're inviting into your home good or bad if you are disrespectful they will retaliate um i did get a comment hopefully this person doesn't mind that i'm reading their comment on here but they said that they also have a haunted doll and one time they called their doll ugly and they ended up getting really bad luck and hurting their foot and they said don't mistreat dolls they can hurt you in any way which is so true any spirit that you're inviting into your home they can't hurt you you don't truly really know what you were inviting into your home so beware and always be respectful now let's do an update on jane i bought her from ebay if you want to know everything about jane and watch me open her and hear her backstory definitely check out the first video i will link it down below in the description box definitely go check that out it was so interesting <laughs> opening her up and just staring at her like oh uh, i was kind of like is she on it is she not this kind of creeps me out but i have to know so like I said, I've always been into the paranormal. I saw, I've watched several videos of people owning haunted dolls and I'm like, are they telling the truth? Even though I believe in the paranormal, I'm like, can this actually be a thing? Can this actually be a vessel for a spirit? I don't know. And I began looking on eBay and I told myself, if a listing really stands out to me, this is meant to be. So I got on there and it said that the, this was Jane's listing that her spirit was from Louisville, Kentucky, and she actually passed away in Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which I live nearby. I love Waverly Hills. It's a tuberculosis hospital. It's abandoned. It's awesome. You can go tour it. Um, they have ghost tours. It's amazing. And I'm like, this is meant to be. I looked and saw how many um, listings that they've sewed on haunted dolls and reviews. It was all excellent. But I'm like, uh, it could still be a lie. It may not be true. And so I opened her up on camera. And it took a while. Maybe like, maybe like a month, month and a half. Things slowly started to happen. In her listing, it said that she liked to be helpful around the house. And she would often move objects when you would least expect it. I definitely started to notice that. Um little things would be moved and um, sometimes things would fall on the kitchen floor and um, I began talking to her on my spirit box and I would get little things that sounded like a child talking even in the video I had posted it sounded like a child and um, I set ground rules with her and I told her she must not be loud in the middle of the night to scare me because I don't know during the day, I'm like not really scared of anything paranormal, obviously. But at nighttime, when I'm laying in bed, I stay in a pitch black bedroom, okay? As dark as can be. And here, if I hear footsteps, things moving, I'm like, ugh. You know. Why do I even own a haunted doll, right? Um, but little things started to move around my house. I would hear footsteps in my hallway. Um, around the same time every day, around 4 to 5 p.m. in the daytime, I'm hearing things, often in the hallway. Also, the craziest thing that happens every single night, this happens every single night. Maybe one night I can film it for you guys, but once I get all my puppies in bed with me, all my little chihuahuas, I lay down, everyone's asleep, 
really quickly. My dogs fall asleep like five minutes. Ten minutes later, all of a sudden, I have this motion activated light. And I know if my, I can tell if my dogs move around in bed, they're just sound asleep. All of a sudden, motion activated light comes on and I can kind of hear like shuffling very lightly come into my room and then it stops. I promise you guys, this thing comes on when all my dogs are asleep and this isn't pointed towards my bed. It's pointed towards outside of my room. And um, so it's like she follows me into my room once I'm trying to go to sleep. And just like this morning, I get up, I walk into the kitchen and I walk through the kitchen to go set down on the couch in the living room. My mom is sitting there watching TV. Like two or three minutes later after I come in and sit down, a whole bag of um, medicine just falls onto the kitchen floor. My mom's like, what the heck? No one's even over there. And I'm like, I know, I know, we know who that is. She's like, yeah one video that I have to show you of proof how she just moves random things I was walking in my kitchen like it's always the kitchen or the hallway and um, there was a vase and it was randomly moving and I got it on film and then I ended up telling it to stop moving it and it stopped I don't know I just truly don't get a bad vibe Well, that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys.